Good morning. After the nice presentation of Rumiana with all the uh, definition, I will try to put some numbers uh, on uh, uh, well, right to health and health. So uh, this, uh, uh, first of all, is uh, the migration trends in Italy in the second century. You can guess uh, that it's uh, quite strange uh, because it's uh, coming down, but actually this is our immigration to abroad. Italian emigrates uh, a lot. In 10 years' time, 27 million of Italians emigrate abroad in the past century, and there were years uh, where they were over half million, and sometimes uh, re they reach also 900,000 per year that emigrates. So our history is a history of immigration uh, for the whole past century. And sometimes we forget uh, this. N Whoa. <laughs> okay. So, mm. so let's uh, come into the recent years. Uh, actually, these are the figures uh, of uh, immigrants uh, that arrived to Italy in uh, by sea, and uh, have. Uh, as you see, there was an increase, uh, and the, the most uh, um, the year with most arrival was uh, last year, 2016. We but we even didn't reach 200,000, remembering that uh, Italian were immigrating uh, even uh, almost uh, a million per year. So, but then what's happened this, these are obviously are not completed figure, is up to um, last week. Uh, and uh, there is a decrease uh, in the arrivals. Uh, probably some of you know what happened uh, around here. So there was, uh, it's not uh, uh, that, uh, that the, there was a decision not to immigrate anymore to Italy. There was a political agreement uh, between uh, uh, Italy and uh, Libya uh, that uh, reinforced uh, uh, the cooperation uh, between the countries uh, and uh, uh, Libyan authorities uh, uh, accepted uh, to stop migrants in, in the Libyan territory. This is why since uh, uh, July we are having less and less uh, uh, people crossing the Mediterranean uh, uh, Sea. This is uh, the reality. In any case, in these years, obviously, there were not only uh, young um, um, health adults, uh, but also uh, several uh, unaccom unaccompanied minors uh, that uh, arrived to Italy. And um, um, in terms of, uh, as you know, ma uh, most of uh, them arrived to uh, Sicily, the south of Italy, and uh, uh, Cal Calabria and Apulia. But uh, then the system relocates in all Italy uh, the people. And uh, one of the most at north, uh, this is the region where Milan is, is the one that are having more people uh, relocated. So uh, in fact, uh, uh, they are, after arrival, uh, they are spread all over uh, the, the country. This is the example of 2015, but uh, this is uh, what is happening uh, normally. Obviously, uh, many are also coming from uh, um, working uh, reason. Uh, now, in the last couple of years, there are less people coming from, uh, uh, from Syria. Most of the people come from South As African, uh, um, uh, Africa. Um, and, and they apply for uh, asylum uh, because uh, it's so difficult uh, to, to ask for work permit, so most of them apply for uh, asylum. But obviously, uh, 
very is very lengthy the the, the, um, the examination process uh, and the granted uh, 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 refugee status uh, it's a very low number uh, even because uh, there is uh, all uh, um, wh when is refused uh, uh, the, the the status uh, the the person can apply again uh, to to uh, to revise uh, the, um, the process and so on. And so they can stay for months and years uh, under a sort of limbo. Uh, in it's uh, scattered around Italy in uh, extraordinary um, situation, ex ex extraordinary structure or big uh, um, holding centers or uh, spread uh, in uh, uh, more integrated uh, uh, structure into the territory. But which is the profile of these, uh, let's say, refugees, asylum seekers, uh, and so on, uh, um, help the health profile? The information are really scattered and uh, are mainly focused on infectious diseases. At least uh, uh, this information, this is coming from the first uh, um, system that we set up in Italy uh, for a syndromic surveillance uh, in 2011. And uh, this was the first time where we demonstrate that in fact, uh, the most common uh, uh, diseases, uh, syndromes uh, found in uh, in uh, the, the among the refugees uh, were respiratory tract infection because they were crossing uh, the sea and so on some watery diarrhea and many parasitic skin diseases uh, there were many syndromes uh, uh, notified very little uh, few alerts very very little alarms and no health emergency so there were nothing, not, no outbreak or emergency uh, uh, under, under the system. And then later on, uh, this is uh, another um, collection of data made uh, during the uh, ship rescue and at point of entry uh, from the Ministry of Health uh, during the wave uh, of 2014-2015, and more or less uh, it say the same things. So uh, infectious disease, uh, there are no uh, around, there are parasitosis, uh, some fractures, dehydration, and so on. And uh, uh, more or less in the same period, uh, there were a huge community uh, of transit uh, refugees in Rome area. Uh, they were people uh, that were staying a few days uh, in the uh, area of Rome, trying to catch a train or a bus or something to go to north. And so there was uh, a, um, had been set up uh, some mobile health team that provide outpatient diagnosis. And uh, again, you see skin diseases were uh, the most important uh, diagnosis. There were or no TB case or two TB case in 2015, few malaria and some varicella. So <laughs> probably uh, in the area it's normal that still there are varicella about uh, our children going to school. So it's something very, uh, very common. A similar figure in 2015, uh, we set up uh, only for Sicily uh, the syndromic surveillance uh, and uh, recently uh, for within the CARE project uh, uh, there, there, there have been uh, uh, outpatient department in two of the hotspots uh, in Sicily and uh, the figures are still the same, so nothing new. Uh, and this is uh, important because it's a proof of what we know that migrants don't pose uh, uh, really threats uh, to, to, to a country, at least uh, in terms of uh, communicable diseases. 
The problem is that we don't have uh, many figures about uh, other things. So uh, uh, what, what about other, fortunately there, there, are, there will be many uh, speech during these two days um, also about uh, other things. But uh, for example in Italy we don't have much data about, uh, about this. So, but uh, really this, uh, I want to just uh, now switch a little bit the attention uh, to the fact uh, that uh, this is uh, a partial, uh, um, a subset of the migrants uh, that, uh, that we are having, even if uh, all the attention is focused on this, because they come mm, through the sea, there is a lot of, uh, uh, problem in the rescue. The, unfortunately, there have been deaths uh, and so on. Uh, the, the, and so there is a lot of media attention on this. Uh, but uh, um, but this is uh, these are the um, immigrants present in Italy, and this is only the uh, the subsection of migrants are landed, uh, uh, crossed uh, the sea. So in this we know a little bit more uh, about uh, uh, other things and we need uh, to, to, to uh, learn more and monitor more about uh, the uh, health of, uh, of this. So really we need uh, to recall that uh, for example for uh, men, most of the problem is uh, injury and our work, uh, injury made uh, during the, the, the work. For female, the, the, the hospitalization is mostly for uh, delivery, and uh, this is uh, the, the case. For tuberculosis, it's true that, for example, uh, the, the person, the migrant uh, uh, staying uh, um, present uh, in Italy are having a more increasing number of tuberculosis. Uh, they are more at risk respect to the Italian uh, population, but uh, they are even more at risk of not completing the follow-up. So the right uh, to, to health is not only to be hospitalized, is to be treated, to be followed, uh, uh, even uh, for a, a disease uh, that we know has uh, many determinants uh, that are socioeconomic uh, determinants. So obviously even psychiatric diseases are increasing uh, in this population and we need to be very careful about, uh, about this. The voluntary abortion are decreasing in the Italian and are incre increasing in the foreign. So here there is a need of uh, uh, birth planning, uh, access uh, to, to maternal uh, uh, care and so on. So, and well, this is uh, not for being read, uh, but for example, for vaccination, uh, we need to, to understand uh, which are the people who are vaccinating less, why are they the newcomers, uh, or are they people that are coming from some part of the world? And, uh, and so we need, uh, the, the message is we need uh, data to understand better what uh, is, uh, the health profile, what are the gaps uh, that are not filled in terms of uh, what uh, Rumuyana said, uh, availability, accessibility, information about uh, of the health services. Silvia, we will have Thank to you. stop here. Thank you. Sylvia, thank you very much for a very nice presentation. You have very nice results. So uh, my question is, I mentioned that uh, you show, just I, I would like to be sure that uh, I saw the right data about parasitic uh, infections. So I'm interested in that. Uh, do you mean on the parasitic intestinal parasitic infections or uh, on other parasites? <coughs> Most are really the skin skin, skin infection. infection, but yeah. uh, your case definition include and intestinal parasites or just uh, skin infection. 
in, in the different data I presented uh, are there are different definition and so on so mm -hmm. really mm, mostly is, is skin, skin infection because mm -hmm. even uh, they didn't test it uh, most of the time so uh, there was no uh, testing for schistosomias, estrogeloides yes. and so on but uh, just uh, check for for body and uh, skin diseases okay thank you very much okay. thank you very much Uh, may I ask a question yes. about immunization? Uh, do you uh, give vaccine to children? Because uh, when they come to Serbia, they don't have data about immunization. And uh, we mm, can't give uh, vaccine because we don't plan for them. Uh, well, um, in, in, in Italy, uh, uh, for uh, children can get uh, immunization as uh, the uh, national vaccination plan. If they have no documents uh, or um, no, no, I mean, uh, vaccine certificate, uh, the, the guideline are to start again and give them again the vaccine. From the beginning. From, from the beginning. And this is uh, for both uh, those uh, that arrive uh, re uh, irregularly or all the children uh, that are in th More complicated is the situation for adults. But for children, uh, it's uh, the normal uh, national schedule. Uh, yes, and I saw that you um, registered uh, pediculosis, but uh, I didn't see pediculosis corporis. No? Do you have cases? Because we registered in Serbia uh, many uh, cases. In, in corporate. Uh, and I corporate, don't yes. recall exactly in this case uh, if we're only capitis or uh, corpus uh, pediculosis, telling you the truth. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the very nice presentation. Um, um, I would like to um, give my reflection also on vaccination uh, among refugees and, and uh, migrants. It can sometimes be a problem, especially because our guidelines as well suggest that if the, there is a no proof of vaccination or no vaccination history to start over with vaccination. And we did some vaccination for those children, especially in the country. Uh, but it's often a, the case that they lose their, their cards. So the, they end up vaccinated many times in, in short, so um, we have to think some, uh, some some strategy on that. Because I'm sure that in Greece it's also the, the same, so in, in Serbia probably in Italy. And if they cross the, the same route, they can get many, many shots. Uh, one last question, because we are already out of time with the first presentation. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. I know that it's not easy to have refugees and those are not from one country. So you can understand what's going on in that country. For instance, in our country, we have refugees only from Syria. So we know what's there and endemic diseases and others. For you, it's difficult. But regarding vaccination, I think it was a good question. Are there a vaccination for newcomers? Doesn't matter the history. Maybe it's better to do priorities and to give the vaccines for, uh, I mean, the, according to the serious diseases killers in emergencies such as polio and measles. And doesn't matter the history, we can give it. Now the problem is with the target group. So I do know how it is in uh, uh, Italy, but it's not easy to deal with such. And also the last one regarding the skin infections. I think for Syrians, you know, leishmaniasis cutaneous is very uh, common there and it's endemic. So just if you have something about that. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm sorry. Well, 
Uh, I, about vaccination, to me, is better maybe that we talk tomorrow. There is there will be a section on uh, response uh, and also on screening and guidelines and so on. So maybe uh, we we can uh, discuss uh, tomorrow. And leishmaniosis uh, didn't happen. Uh, uh, that um, I told you, very few Syrians are arriving to Italy, and so it's uh, not uh, really the priority uh, of uh, like this. I think uh, that's uh great. Thank you very much. Sir.